In this video, we're going to look at finding a fraction of a quantity. We're going to start off with some non-calculator examples. So let's start off now by finding one fifth of 10. So one fifth of 10. All I need to do here is divide 10 by five. So we divide 10 by the denominator of this fraction. That is going to give me two. Now, let's say I wanted to find two fifths of 10. Well, two fifths of 10, if we can find one fifth by dividing by five, we simply need to multiply our answer by two, which is the numerator of the fraction, which gives me four. So if I wanted three fifths, I would now simply find one fifth, which is gonna be two, and multiply my answer by three, which is gonna be six. Four fifths of 10, we divide by five, and multiply by four. Dividing by five, as we see, gives us a two. Multiplying by four gives us the eight. Now, of course, if we did five fifths, five fifths is one whole, and of course, that would give us 10. If you want an easier way to remember it, without a calculator, divide by the bottom, multiply by the top. So you're, so you're dividing by the denominator of a fraction and multiplying by the numerator. So for example, if I wanted now five sixes of 18, we could see now that one six of 18 would give us now three. Dividing 18 by six gives us three. So we can say that five six of 18 is going to be 15 as we multiply our answer. You don't have to give those workings in the exam, but we're simply finding one six and multiplying up. So let's go ahead and find seven ninths of 18. 18 divided by nine is going to give me two. Seven times by two is going to give me 14. Let's find, for example, five eighths of 40. 40 divided by eight is five. Five times by five is gonna give me 25. So as we can see, this is relatively straightforward. We are dividing by the denominator and multiplying by the numerator. Okay, let's look at 11 ninths of 90. So this time we have a top heavy or improper fraction. 90 divided by nine is 10. 11 times by 10 is 110. Let's do one more. We're going to do now four fifths and we will go four fifths of 24. So at this stage, I've not got a whole number or integer value. So if I divide 24 by five, we can say that one fifth is going to give me now, 24 divided by five is going to give me 4.8. So if I wanted four fifths, this is going to be equal to this number multiplied. And if we just consider what that's going to be, four times by four is 16. Four times by 0 0.8 is going to give us 3.2. So we're going to have now 19 Point two. So I've divided by the denominator and multiplied by the numerator. So that is finding a fraction of a quantity without a calculator. What we're now going to do is look at finding a fraction of a quantity with a calculator. In maths, the word of means multiply. So of means multiply. So let's say we were asked to find 37 41s or 40, 41s of now 126 pounds and 42 pence. Quite clearly, we're not going to try and do this without a calculator by dividing this quantity by 41. So all we would do in a calculator is set up a fraction 37 over 41 multiplied of means multiplication. So for example, if you've got now, let's go ahead and look at a box of chocolates. 
and you've got now in here you've got five chocolates and you have two boxes of these you have two of five two boxes of five which is the same as saying two times by five which quite clearly is ten same here so of in maths means multiplication so we're going to multiply this by 126.42 and that is going to give us now 114.0 Eight, six. So we could say now that this is going to be equal to 114 pounds and to the nearest pence it looks like nine pence. So we can see now that this isn't going to give us a nice answer but we can simply put it through a calculator. So anytime you see it now of it means multiplying. So let's find now 13 seventeenths of 261.7 so we would simply go ahead and put this in a calculator and we could write that this is going to be 13 over 17 and then we would multiply this by the 261.7 and that is going to give us now 200.12 so that's going to give us now 200.1 and that's given to one decimal place so they're not nice pretty answers but it's a relatively straightforward way now this gives rise to looking at finding a percentage so if you want to look at this as a percentage you can do or you can watch a video on percentage but let's say we were doing a test and the test was out of 65 marks we wanted to know what, for example, 38% would give us. So what we could say then is 38%, which is 38 of 100, multiplied by 65. So let's say it was out of 65 and we needed 38% to pass. Then we would simply do 38 of 100. So 38 over 100 multiplied now by the 65 and that would give us now 24.7. So 24.7 marks would be required if we needed 38% of the 65 marks on offer. So that's another way of looking at it. What we're doing here is finding a fraction of a quantity. And just here we're kind of moving into percentage, but it's pretty much the same thing as now our percentage is a fraction out of 100. So two different ways. Calculator and non-calculator. If it's non-calculator, divide by the bottom times by the top of your fraction. And then if it's a calculator one, simply put the calculation through the calculator, swapping of for the multiply.